Hello and welcome to episode 7 of opening small eBay lots of East German DDR stamps. If you've been following along, you know by now that I bought these mainly for the mini sheets, um, but I'm finding quite a few that fill holes in my collection as well. <clears throat> I paid about $2 a lot on average. So let's start with the mini sheets. There's a nice one with uh, an event cancel. I'll set it out of frame because they take up a lot of space on the desk. This looks like another one which I've actually just opened in episode 6. So that's now a duplicate from 1986. Let's see here, oh, this is very nice. Um, this is a looks like a set of four stamps with some extra artwork in between. Let's see. We'll go to this. It's not a mini sheet, but it's uh, cancelled on piece. Very, very nice. What a beautiful cancel. I'll set that aside for now just because it's so large. Looks like I found another mini sheet here. Nice uh, space one from possibly 1972 based on the, the date in the top right. <clears throat> we'll move on to this one that's on top here. Again, two stamps, different denominations, 20 and 50, uh, with the extra artwork in between. So that'll be priced as a whole. Set that up here. And it looks like we have this block of four, which is most likely canceled to order here, but with a slightly fancier cancel. Let's see what we've got next. This one appears to be postally used with a fairly well scented cancel. A cancel of 1980 and stamps from 78. See, it looks like I have a set here on top from 1980. Just part of a set. This one doesn't look like it belongs to the same set. No, this one's 1979. Put it in a similar position. Here we have some art. I've seen this stamp for war recently, I think, in one of the other lots I did. Here's some great, nice, long ships. It looks like the better part, if not a complete set. I always like ships. I like pretty much... I don't have a favorite topical, but I like topicals in general. <clears throat> so we'll see afterwards if that's the complete set or not. Another part of the same series of art. I think I've most likely seen this one recently as well. <clears throat> this one may be new to me though. I don't recall having that one yet. So we have a set here of these. I know I've seen at least one of these in the past. I think maybe the blue one here. I'll move this to the side here as it's... Um, Actually, post-war Allied Zone, I believe. I'm not going to focus on those today. Not actually a nice set of, maybe I will focus on these. The, some French Zone post-war. I think I have enough room to lay those out as well. different set of artwork. And here's a different ship. I think we opened this in the last box, but it was in mint state. So this one looks truly postally used with, again, a nice centered uh, postmark from 75. 
There's another Karl Marx. The 70 uh, Venning might be the uh, key stamp in that series. I don't recall for sure. I'll have to look that up later too. So it looks like I have part of this rooster set here. That's quite nice. Thirty-five. Again, I'll have to check and see if that's the whole set. Could be five, could be six. Quite often the key stamp is missing, uh, but I've had some nice surprises. I had one from the last set I ended. Again, Allied Zone, Allied Zone. Another bird series. I used one stamp from it. These are all Allied Zone. I'll just sit them in the same pile. Uh, this is either Soviet Zone or possibly DDR. It depends on the uh, watermark, which I always have a horrible time detecting on those. Wow, that's a really nice, uh, looks like a ski jumping one, Olympic ski jumping. And this would be part of the same set, it appears. Uh, it looks like the next stage in the ski jump. Let's see here. Some architecture. Butterfly. Put these to the side for a second. One more of the ski jumping. Then we have this, what appears to be a set of three here. Ten, fifteen, twenty. We have this large space stamp. I doubt I have this one already. That's nice. And that looks like it's mostly used, like that. Let's see, then we have these, which are definitives. The 1DM and 2DM. Very nice. And if I, I'll squeeze this one on sideways. Uh, looks like a nature scene. Uh, stick around, uh, and in a moment I'll be back with some uh, close-ups and details of some of the stamps that I found most interesting. Thanks for watching so far. Thanks for uh, sticking it out till the end. Uh, out of the uh, set, here's the ones I found most interesting. Uh, starting off here with a uh, set of uh, five of six uh, German Cox from 1979. I'm missing the key 50 Fenning stamp. Here is two of the four uh, ship stamps that I received. We're missing the um, five and uh, final. I can't remember what the value is on the final, but the five Henning and the final uh, highest value one uh, from the set. Here's the other two of the four I received. Really happy to have these low because I like ship stamps. Uh, these are all, you know, 30 Fenning each catalog value. Uh, here we have from 1980. Uh, Looks like a, a radio tower of some sort. Um, I didn't take the time to read or translate the details from my Michael catalog. Part of the same set uh, from 1980. Um, this again looks like some kind of uh, radio satellite. 30 uh, euro cents. Here we have from 79, uh, the container ship Meriden. Uh, this one's in mint, uh, 80 euro cents. Here we have uh, a stamp from 1978. I didn't put a price on this one because I'm having a hard time telling if it's a, a DDR, or, sorry, a cancel to order or whether it's postally used. I'm, I'm guessing cancel to order, but there's no gum on the back of the previous one. <laughs> Let's see, here we have uh, one from 78, uh, another uh, larger stamp with a space or satellite mm -hmm. theme. Intercosmos is the logo on it, 40 euro cents postally used. And here we have some definitives, 
these are, I want to say from 63, but I, I forget at this point. Uh, $2 for the set, both postally used, catalog value. Here we have uh, the Olympic set, uh, again from I think the very end of 63 for the 64 Olympics. Uh, catalog value on each of these, I think, uh, in postally used was 50 euro cents. Here we have one of the small mini sheets. This is on block number 36, and the catalog value on this was only 90 euro cents. And then uh, probably my favorite because it's on uh, piece here was. Uh, this uh, stamp uh, from, I want to say, 76. Uh, its uh, catalog value for postally used was uh, $4.20. euro. Thanks for sticking around, and I'll hope to have another episode soon.